Anxiety is one of the most pressing mental health issues that teens and youth are facing today. The research from our brain imaging studies really indicates that anxiety is associated with changes in the brain. It's something that's real. It's something that's physical that we can see. We're using many types of imaging methods to see the brain. And this can allow us to study the structure, the function of the brain, the brain's metabolism. And the overall goal of our research program is to be using this technology to identify these key biomarkers that are associated with anxiety. And that way we can use it to identify children who may be at risk. We can also use it to test the efficacy of interventions but also the factors that promote resilience that can really help to support teens as they become adults. Early intervention is key. I'm very fortunate that I now have the opportunity to present at schools and talking with teachers, talking with administrators, to tell them about mental health, to tell them about neurodevelopmental disorders, why is it that some children learn differently than others. They really want to know about you know, what is happening in the brain and I think that really helps them in terms of the, the management plans that they're developing for individual children. One in five individuals in Canada is struggling with mental health. So the research that we're doing can have really big impact. It's really helping us to promote healthy development in children and teens today.